Hey guys, this is Tono. Today we're going to be talking about the Four Horsemen, how we're going to be getting it, what their unlock method is essentially, and what you're going to be requiring for the first Horseman, which is going to be the Pestilence Horseman. Each of these is going to represent a different aspect of essentially what uh, Apocalypse wants to inflict upon humanity. Pestilence, then famine, then war and death. What he wants to use to be able to control humanity and allow the mutants to be able to take control and be the top dogs essentially so each one of these is going to have this new scourge event now this seems to be like a legendary unlock method it's not exactly the same as the old legendaries in fact it's very very similar to uh dark dimension but there's a lot of different other stuff going on with it now you can see over here we've got pestilence here it looks like death we've got war and then we've got famine there now what from they've what they've said basically is I believe pestilence is coming first, given the fact that they've kind of I don't know, it could be famine first. I'm not sure. Something to do with infestation and plagues and stuff, which to me says uh, pestilence, but who knows? So there's the different horsemen here. We don't know who they are yet. They haven't officially announced it. And as I said, they're going to be unlocked via these scourge events. So what are the scourge events and what are their requirements for the first one? Essentially, they are a new game mode. It's similar to Dark Dimension, where you're going to be climbing through a number of nodes However, instead of being like essentially a dark dimension where you clear it through twice and stuff and then you're done, instead this time you're going to be progressing through and you're going to be getting a score based on how well you go. And that score is going to be taking you onto a leaderboard and that leaderboard is essentially how you're going to be getting the different shards. You're going to get milestones that you're going to be able to complete by getting points and then ranking at the end of leaderboard where you're going to be competing against other people to be able to get it. The high score that you get is going to be essentially how many, uh, what your ranking ends up being. So you're kind of competing against other people and they do say it is a new legendary horseman. So I believe that this is going to be like a new legendary unlock system. So how do you kind of score here? Essentially, you're going to have different ways to kind of get points. You're going to have the difficulty. So upping your difficulty means that obviously you end up getting more points. The higher difficulty, the more points, etc. But then you can also apply these new things, which are called scourges. Now they're going to be like negative um, effects that are going to either affect your team involving stuff like this one here is when a player character gains stealth, they also gain taunt. So therefore they don't end up getting stealthed or they're going to be positives to the enemy team, which is like summoned enemy bin minions gain 20% max health or enemies gain plus 10 health, that kind of thing. So essentially you're going to be buffing up the enemies, nerfing down yourself. And then however many of these you apply, you end up increasing the scourge multiplier. And that is going to be how you're getting points by clearing the nodes with higher scourge multiplier. You're going to be getting more points, getting as many points as you can. So that way you're competing against other people. Now, what is the requirements? Now, there's going to basically be starting out pretty low. So here you've got hero. So you can see this requirement here for this first node is hero. Just any hero characters you can bring in here, be able to clear it out. As you get further along, however, they get more restrictive. So it might be next one city or something. Then it might be hero city. Then it might be hero city mystics or something along those lines. Stuff that slowly kind of gets... Um, more and more restrictive as you go. However, the first one that is going to be coming along, the last nodes require two specific teams, Web Warriors and slash or Dark Hunters. So essentially you're going to have these characters here, these nine different characters. You're going to be able to choose five of them, bring them in there to be able to try and clear it. Uh, essentially the characters don't heal between nodes. So if you happen to lose one, then you kind of kind of bring them in again and stuff. But uh, like if you lose one, you're not going to be able to bring them in again. It's kind of like a gauntlet. You're trying to progress through it while keeping your teams alive and stuff. So you've got these nine different characters here that are going to be the requirements. So you need to pick and choose them, see who you kind of want to level up. Um, I am suggesting Dr. Voodoo is going to be insanely important here. Uh, for those who don't know, Dr. Voodoo does do percent based damage on his, uh, on his ultimate here. 
and he re redistributes 150% of the stealth, uh, the health stolen. So he's going to be a massive healer here, being able to kind of keep you alive. However, they do have decently long cooldowns. You're essentially going to be needing to work on all of these characters, most likely, to get the most points that you want. You want as many of these characters up there, so that way you can potentially make two runs at these last bosses and be able to clear them. Um, try and get as many points as possible, try and clear them as much as possible, because if you kind of fail it, then you're not going to get as many points. So how does the leaderboard work? It's essentially the the highest number of points you get through one run. So as you can see here, this person got 617 uh, points. If they happen to do another run and they only get 500 points, that's no longer their that's not a high score. They've got a score that's higher than that. However, if they do it again and they get 800,000 points, then obviously that's a higher thing. So it's kind of like, it's essentially a gauntlet. You're fighting through Dark Dimension, uh, a Dark Dimension style kind of run. You're trying to get as many points as you can uh, and trying to put as many of these multipliers on as you can while also managing to actually clear the mobs. So some of the multipliers you might want on there, some you might not. Apparently there's about 30 different multipliers and they're also going to change between the different Scourge events. So this one here is for Pestilence. However, there's going to be a different one for War, Death, and uh, Famine, obviously. And different requirements for them as well. So it makes like like the it's kind of weird like they're going to make it so that you're needing more characters for the end of it however you can kind of just choose five of these characters and hope for the best we don't know exactly how the shards are going to work or anything we don't know which the what the character is or anything um we can kind of see a picture of it here but we don't know who exactly it is so i guess we'll kind of wait to see it looks like sylvanas from world of warcraft but i assume it's not um unless we've got a first crossover event or something but yeah, that's basically how it works. Get as many points as you can from this by putting as many of these on here, up in the difficulty where you can, trying to do as hard a difficulty as possible. Get points, use those points towards this. The restrictions are based on, it starts out really wide, then ends up narrowing it down to just these two teams for the first run, uh, for the first one, which is obviously the Pestilence one, Web Warriors and Dark Hunters being required. But I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about this new game mode, uh, new game mode, new unlocks method. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's really cool. I think it's a cool method um, to be able to get these done. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye. <laughs>